friends welcome to my channel retuber and today i'll be reviewing three books three books uh, by indu sundarisan that is the 20th wife the feast of roses and the shadow princess so the 20th wife was uh, the first book written by her in this trilogy and it's about uh, mehruni sa the 20th wife of shehzada salim or emperor jahangir uh she was the last wife of uh, jahangir and the story starts from the point when she was born when she was a refugee persian refugee and uh, it uh, leads us to the point in this book when she becomes the princess the wife of jahangir so it's a very good book if you are interested in the history of india especially the mogal period uh, it totally you know uh, emphasizes on all the details that you would want to know about their lifestyle their extravagant lifestyle that they used to lead at that time the you know the construction of the uh, their harems their palaces all their courts their uh, uh, you know the, their clothings everything every detail this book has it so if you are interested in all those details and there are also you know uh, the events that uh, she has described in this book the series of events that is described in a beautiful interesting manner that you would totally love it that you won't feel uh, bored at any point of time sometimes the informations are little you know too much but uh, it's okay uh, you can totally skip those part and you can go ahead if you are not that much interested but this book is totally you know i love this book so if you uh, are interested in that history historic events and all that so i will totally you know uh, suggest you to read this book so second part of the trilogy is the feast of roses which also uh, portrays the life of mahruni sa uh, it revolves around her life only uh, like how she become how when she became the empress of the mogal empire and what series of events led to uh, her being the most powerful lady of that empire not because only because she was the most uh, she was the empress at that time but also how she exercised her control over all the political matters of uh, you know the states and uh, it after that uh, this book also has contents events described in what series of events led to her downfall like how uh, she was then sent to exile not exile exactly but in some place where uh, she was not allowed to you know uh, have any uh, interference in the matter of court so this and this book i would definitely recommend you to read uh, this also has a very interesting timelines and all everything the all the details of the empire the clothing the level of extravagant life that they were leading so if you have interest in that i would definitely recommend these two books for you so i would uh, rate these two books 3.5 to 4 out of 5 these so now let's come to the third part of the trilogy that is the shadow princess is regarding uh, so you would def, uh, so you would guess that it's about after mehruni sa who was the next empress maybe mumtaz mahal so you would be thinking that it's about mumtaz mahal but no it's not about mumtaz mahal it's about her daughter the oldest daughter jahanara so uh, in this book the story starts at the point when mumtaz mahal is dying how she is dying by giving birth to her uh, daughter at that time so um, this is about jahanara that how then she, after the mother after the death of her mother how she uh, got uh, all her powers about uh, for harem and all the court matters and how she was the most important woman so this trilogy is uh, specifically about the women the power that they had at that time so this book also portrays about jahanara and uh, some relationship with her uh, siblings like all dara orange roshnara murad shuja all of that and also this book portrays the you know um, details of the construction of taj mahal so the writing style of this book is a bit different from these two books 
बिकॉज दे वेर अ सीरीज ऑफ इवेंट्स वेरी स्पेसिफिक इन टाइम लाइन्स एंड दिस इज ऑल्सो वेरी यू नो डेटेड लाइक एवरी स्टोरी यू कैन सी दैट फॉर ऑल स्टोरीज वेन इट स्टार्ट देर इज अ डेट मैंशन दैट वॉट इन वॉट ईयर दिस दिस इवेंट्स वेर टेकिंग प्लेस सो इट इज ऑल्सो हैविंग अ प्रॉपर टाइम एंड बट इन in the middle of two stories or between four stories there was one chapter or you can say in that pattern that it's about taj mahal that the story of uh, how the construction of taj mahal the progress of how each uh, pillars were uh, formed that how taj mahal uh, was you know constructed at that time so it's in very much detail it's it I'm completely describing all the details of taj mahal construction as well so i found it somewhat you know not not that much appealing to me like uh, i couldn't understand also like uh, my maybe my imagination is not that you know superb maybe some people have very better imagination than me you could have some better imagination than me but i didn't find it much interesting on the part of that taj mahal the numinous storm that what this book says about it so uh, i would uh, give this book a little you know not that much uh, thumbs up like it's 2.5 to 3 out of 5 you can say i can give this book that much uh, you know rating it's personally my rating maybe you would like the book but uh, i would definitely suggest you to read these two books maybe you can go for it or maybe not uh, it's up to you if you are into you know much uh, into that you have to know about it just like predator story then you can go for it today so yeah that's all about it thank you for watching my video if you like my video please like it subs and subscribe my channel thank you bye